with him. I wonder what's on the other side of the ocean. These people from the Tenryo Commission have been here for days now. I guess they're here to pick up Lady Hiraki. But why would it be taking so long? I heard that the Kanjo Commission suddenly said they don't want Lady Hiragi to leave. To be honest, I'd be hesitant if I were her. A crowd this size comes to Rito? Who knows what they could be planning? Shh, stay quiet. Someone might hear you. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. <sighs> How did things get to this point? may I help? We arrived here two days ago to escort Lady Hiragi to Inazuma City. Sir Kujo Kamaji gave us very strict orders, so we have to obey. But every time we attempt to receive the bride, the Hiragi clan always finds an excuse to delay things. Since we haven't fulfilled our duties yet, we decided to stay in Rito until Lady Hiragi is ready to come with us. We apologize. It was not our intention to stay here so long. We promise our presence here will not impact ordinary people's lives. We can only hope that the leaders of the Hiragi clan will start to cooperate soon. If this stalemate continues, <laughs> who knows? Sir Kujo might give us orders to be less accommodating. How much longer does your master plan to hold them off? I have no idea. We're stuck in limbo here. Master's been very on edge these past few days. He gets irate over the smallest things and is suspicious of everything. He's been yelling at me a lot. I understand that he's anxious, but I mean, what can we do? I've told him before, never cross the Yashiro Commissioner. Yeah, good advice. With him, you just know that whatever he's doing, a lot of preparation has gone into it. If Lady Hiragi is really taken away, then what will the Tenryo Commission do? Uh, maybe we should tell Master to discuss things with Lady Hiragi. Hiragi Chisato is now at the center of every conversation in Rito. By now, the Kanjo Commission probably knows how important she is. But what about what she thinks? Oh, Traveler! I assume you've heard about everything that's been going on out there. What on earth is happening? Don't worry, we can explain everything. So, what happened was... After the Tenryo Commission arrived, they suddenly became alarmed. They keep having secretive discussions and won't allow me to have any direct contact with the Tenryo Commission. I never would have thought that this was Sir Kamisato's plan. <laughs> now it all makes sense. I'm sorry. I haven't. Maybe there's no right or wrong decision. Maybe everything would be easier if I simply didn't have the choice. I used to tell myself things like this to avoid having to think about it. 
But once I saw the notices appearing out of nowhere on the streets, signaling that the wedding was confirmed, I didn't feel reassured at all. Instead, I felt a great sense of regret. I keep thinking back to what Sir Kamisato said. This is supposed to be my bright and beautiful future. But what if it's not? I can happily accept that if someone was trying to take advantage of my marriage, I should absolutely refuse to go through with it. But that's not the answer I'm looking for. And also, now that things have escalated to this point, it will be tricky to resolve. Ah, oh, Lady Huragi, here you are. You scared me for a second. I thought you'd gone missing. You. Wait, you're the ones who were with the Yashiro Commissioner that day. What do you think you're doing here? Are you trying to convince Lady Hiragi to leave? Calm down. They're my friends. They're just here to visit me. Friends? Are you sure? Just friends? Lady Hiragi, I told you already. These are exceptional circumstances. You need to be more vigilant in everything you do. You are extremely important to us and to the entire Konjo Commission. Who's to say they don't have a hidden agenda? If you want to accuse us of trying to abduct her, just come out and say it! Don't be rude. You've been very highly strung lately, seeing everything as a threat. I... <clears throat> Listen to me. I know all the ins and outs of everything that's happened so far. His arrival might well be your very last chance to fix this. The present state of affairs in Rito shows me that the situation has escalated well past the point where you could hope to control it. If this deadlock continues any longer, we will have nothing to gain and much to lose. This is not an order. All I need you to do is give me an explanation and take responsibility for the situation. <clears throat> Understood, my lady. I shall discuss with the others right away. Good job, You handled that well! I was so nervous. But I thought things are now so critical that I should at least give it a try. And it worked remarkably well. Yes. Well, let's wait and see what happens. I hope they provide a satisfactory response. We had a serious discussion and reflected on our mistakes. In all honesty, no one can handle the weight of the situation here. Everyone is besides themselves with worry. It'll drive us mad if it continues any longer. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. My actions were radical and duplicitous. I was selfish and ignored the greater good. And then I left the situation to fester. Would you... Would you please give us a second chance? For my lady's sake, please give the Conjo Commission another chance. I suppose you're right. The only person who can change the Tinryo Commission's mind will be the Yashiro Commissioner. We'll head off to the Kamisoto Estate shortly, and beseech him to help us with the utmost sincerity. Lady Huragi, might I ask you to join us? You are the most important person. Without you, we have no other way. By the way, aren't you a good friend of the Yashiro Commissioner? Please put in some good words for me. Yashiro Commissioner, I'm sure you've heard the news. The Tinryo Commission has now occupied Rito, 
refusing to leave until we hand Lady Hiragi over to them. I realize I have greatly offended you with my atrocious actions, and I realize also that this must sound like the very height of absurdity. But please, have mercy, good sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Matsura. I'm exceptionally busy and have but a moment to spare before my next engagement. I fear this leaves no time for small talk. So, please, if you would be so kind, get straight to the point. <sighs> I know our apology means nothing to you, but we really have nothing else left to offer by this point. I'm terribly sorry. Everyone in the entire Konjo Commission now realizes the gravity of this situation. Lady Hiragi is indispensable to us. We promise to always support her. So, would it be at all possible for you to talk to Sir Kujo once more? You make it sound so easy. The Tri-Commission will be ridiculed by the public if we choose to withdraw the notices now and eat our words. What do you plan to do about this? To lose face for the Tri-Commission is to bring shame to Her Excellency. Are you and your associates ready to face the thunderous wrath of the Almighty Shogun? We... will take full responsibility. We'll publish a new notice and hold a conference to explain the situation. We will make sure that the public knows this was all a huge misunderstanding. We'll do everything we can to minimize the impact. Everything we can. Hmm. <laughs> ah, Master Matsura, you should have known it would come to this. Whatever were you thinking? But the Tri Commission must always put the interests of Inazuma first, regardless of what Sir Kujo and I may feel at this present moment. If the situation in Rito is left to fester any further, things may get out of control. But Lady Hiragi and the inhabitants of Rito are innocent. If we fail to contain the situation promptly, the rumor mill will wreak havoc on the Tri Commission's reputation. Try keeping a pet bird. You'll see what I mean. Songbirds who know how to hold a tune can be very pleasant to listen to, but they can also become irritating if they don't know when to stop. And as for the ones with excessively long tongues, well, they're so insufferable that they can't be kept as pets at all. But it doesn't take a moment to cut out their tongues and silence them for good. Yes, I understand. I've listened to your concerns, and I'll talk to Sir Kujo for you. But I can't guarantee that he will change his mind. I understand. Thank you for your help, Yashiro Commissioner. All right, you ought to return now. I'm sure you have a sizable mess to deal with back in the Kanjo Commission. Okay, then please excuse me. Thank you once again, Commissioner. Ah, yes, Lady Hiragi. I have something to tell you. Would you mind? Huh? Why, of course. Sir Kamisato, you became a completely different person just now. It felt so intense. Unruly servants like him need to be severely reprimanded. As a commissioner, the Almighty Shogun trusts me to do her will. I did as I should. But... Now, I'd like to take off my Commissioner hat and share a personal story with you. Oh, please. I'd love to hear it. You must have heard that the Kamisato clan once went through an extremely difficult period. My father worked incredibly hard to compensate for the grave errors made by the Kamisato clan long ago and restore our reputation. The work took a toll on his health and ultimately led to his untimely demise. My mother loved him dearly. She passed soon after. This sudden turn of events dealt a heavy blow to the Ashiro Commission. Behind the scenes, things became very unstable. Everyone thought that the Kamisato clan had lost power. That made my sister and me nothing but burdens hindering the ambitions of others. It may sound preposterous now, but I assure you that is the truth of what the Ashiro Commission has been through. Huh. Pretty similar to how the Kanjo Commission is now. Back then, I had no choice but to accept the position I was in. While I desperately looked around for powerful supporters, I endured smear campaigns and attempts to exploit me. I had no other choice. 
I had to honor my parents' dying wishes, and I also had a young sister to take care of. I didn't mind what became of me, but my family... No one can ever be allowed to trample over my precious family. Fortunately, I persisted, and the Kamisato clan was able to survive this storm. I think I now know where my sense of loss and confusion was coming from. Shinojo once told me that he saw what was in me, in a way that no one else did. That's why he couldn't bear to see me live the rest of my life depending on someone else. I thought the reason I felt unsettled was because of uncertainty over getting married. But the fact is, it's because I felt too young and inexperienced to handle the situation facing me. The reason why Sir Kujo was able to face the prospect of marriage so confidently is because he's prepared for anything. That's it. The situation I'm facing now is the same one he faced back then. When his clan was in crisis, he bravely drew his blade and challenged the almighty Shogun. And now, it is time for me to make a stand and become my own person. Well said. I'm sure once you have grown and gained confidence, your father will be able to let go and allow you to decide how you want to live the rest of your life. It might not sound exciting, but this kind of personal growth is a necessary step in the pursuit of true ha- And I'm sure I can get there. I will use this as an opportunity to take over the responsibilities of the Hiragi clan. I'll think about marriage again after everything is more settled. This puts less pressure on Kamachi, and means I can support and protect myself without having to worry about becoming a burden or dependent on someone else. My best wishes to both of you were and remain heartfelt. When the time comes for the wedding to go ahead, I will come to congratulate you once more. Thank you, Sir Kamisato. I am grateful for everything you have shared with me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to deal with back home. Take care, Lady Hiragi. I'm confident that on your return, you will find your Kanjo Commission associates most receptive to your instruction. Yes. In fact, my recent experience suggests the same. Thank you once again. She really has the air of a leader now. Hats off to you too, sir. Everyone thought there was no way out until you pulled that super smart strategy out of nowhere. In fact, counter-checking is a perfectly common maneuver in the game of chess. Our rival this time was easy to deal with. He was smart, but short-sighted, and sloppy in his execution. This outcome is entirely within my expectation. Even so, Paimon could never come up with a plan that cunning in a whole lifetime. Anyway, it's kind of a relief to see that Chisato has decided to set the Hiragi clan straight. I agree. Stability in Inazuma benefits me as well. I wasn't about to pass up an opportunity to make less trouble for myself. <laughs> well, the fact is that I am first and foremost the Yashiro Commissioner. Perhaps for Master Matsura, Power is his life's pursuit. But for me, nothing matters more than the stability of Inazuma. A stable nation is the prerequisite for a stable Yashiro Commission. Only then can the Kamisato clan and the other Yashiro Commission clans have a peaceful existence. But human desire will always be a factor in the equation. This is not the first situation of its kind, nor will it be the last. All I have tried to do is make sure the three parties to the Tri-Commission serve to restrain each other. Stasis is not the only form of stability. A balance of power leaving no room for maneuver achieves the same end. Another positive outcome is that everyone recognizes how important Lady Hiragi is now. I think I did her a sizable favor in that regard. Dealing with the Hiragi clan will be much easier for her than navigating a new and unfamiliar one. <sighs> there were so many things at play over this one wedding! Uh, wait a second! You weren't trying to stop the wedding from the very beginning, were you? Hmm? I thought straight away it was bad timing. Nevertheless, everything I said to Hiragi Chisato was entirely sincere. If you choose to give up your stance on something once, you'll be having to compromise for the rest of your life. I didn't want to see her suffer because she didn't realize what she was getting into. Now, she has the chance to become her own person. 
Let's see who she becomes. Okay then. Guess we'll have to wait and see. All right. Farewell, and profuse thanks to you both. I shall have to host you at the Kamisato estate when my sister is next available. Looks like everything's resolved. Masterfully done. Everything was perfect. Well, except for one minor detail. I somehow ended up with a glass of very peculiar tasting milk. Hmm? Didn't you like it? I distinctly remember you saying you are quite partial to exotic flavors. Oh! <laughs> uh, my lord? The Traveler had one of those as well. Ah, I'm sure he's made a great impression on you. The Traveler did indeed play a critical role in this case. I'm sure both families would have been more guarded against me had he and his companion not been present. It wouldn't have been so easy to get to the heart of the matter. There you go again, my lord. Placing the focus on other people while discreetly performing your job to perfection. <laughs> Naturally. Ah, yes. Now that we're both free, let's finish off that game of chess we started a few days ago.